tell me what to say. Okay, today on uh, Serious Nimage with Milk Cockfield and Gourmet Pens. Gourmet Pens. Gourmet, gourmet Pens. Probably the biggest fan. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this was the prop of the week. Disgusting though it was. Yeah, because threw out the window. Because horrible things. Okay. Today we'll have a look at a very interesting pen, and the pen is, it, come, it came in that box, it's a cardboard box, and then we have the actual box. This is look, the box. I pulled an SBRE brown there, yeah, you don't, see? Don't throw that, you'll kill the cat. Uh, yeah, because this I is a pretty heavy, yeah. heavy thing, it's called a coffin, it's what pelican pens come in. It's pretty oh. hard to open. It is, it's pretty hard to open, but it it's It has that cat. leather bed, and underneath the bed you can remove it, there's the, the, the information about the pelican and the, the warranty. And then inside Show that it. is... Show it. This doomahickey, which is the fake leather pouch thingy with the plastic elastic seal that you remove. Oh, then you have elastic seal. Do, 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 do. The Pitikan Café Crème M200 Classic. Classic, yes. M200 Classic. Um, where did we get this? We got this pen from Applebaum Pennen, and we are very grateful for that. And what is even cooler than Yoast actually sending us this pen to review is that he told us that we can give it away. That means that you benefit. Yay! So have a look at our website sbrebrown.com or gourmetpens.com and check out how you can win this. By the way, this is March 2015. So if you watch this in 2025, you can no longer win it. Well, I don't know. Maybe. No. Um, no. Anyway, first impressions. I think that was some pretty intense packaging for this pen. Yeah, L yeah. That's it's pretty solid. I know we don't typically mention it here, but what is the price again? Because that. Uh, a 125, here. 125 euros or so. Yeah, 125 euros, so, and then get this extensive packaging is yeah. pretty decent, I would say. And I, I personally, I don't really care for the the box, but I do like these pouches. I think they're pretty neat. Yeah. Um, not only for po portabling your own pen. Carrying, carrying your, your own pen. pen. Um, they also, if you gift someone a pen or lend someone a pen, it's also nice to, it's it's a one pen pouch basically. So anyway, that's cool. Uh, first impressions, that was the packaging, the pen. Well, I really like the size of these pens. Um, I think they are, I'm just going to hold it against this so you can see it better because there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Um, I like the size of them. Um, it's cute. Looks small in your hands. That's not true. No, it looks quite big in your hand. Um, it... Go on, I'm not saying anything. It's a very warm, rich color scheme, hence Café Crème. Um, I, I... I was looking forward to it and looking forward to trying it. I really like the ink window, which is a deep amber yeah. like coffee brown translucent color, which is really cool. Oh, I can see it in the light. And uh, so overall, my first impressions were positive. Right. I mean, it's 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 nice. It is nice. It is nice. What what about you? How do you uh, how does this um, pen make well, you feel? The M the M two hundred model. I like Pelican cat. pens. My oh. issue shut up. My issue with the <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's just calling the cat. Don't worry. I don't, I don't really want you. To now you have to buy me something. You just won this pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just kidding. Um, my first impressions were very into... Were, I, I'm not offended by that, just for the record. Uh, no, we're always like this. Um, I beat him up after. We have a lot of sugar daily. So here's the... Um, um, well, I do. I, I found that, my, as my first impressions, to be honest, the M200 model for me is small. Which And it's the same size as the M400, which is why yes, you, I think, which tend is why to I don't not really, really use them. Which use those a lot. Um, also, to be honest, I find many of these M200s to be very plasticky looking. Mm -hmm. However, this one I do like. I really think Café Crème is well chosen. The cap may very well look black on video, but it is in fact a very deep dark brown. As it's is the actually lighter on. than the brown of the uh, M800 brown tortoise shell. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't actually check that, but that's nice. It is It is um, much lighter, just in case you And then you have that really deep brown mm -hmm. ink window, which is cool. Uh, and then, of course, this, this cream-colored uh, barrel. I think that was awfully well chosen, given Café Crème. So, my first impressions were, okay, although I may not really care for the size of the pen, 
it looks really cool in this specific incarnation or in yeah. resignation or whatever. Well, I think um, I think what you mentioned. Actually, I'll get to it after because yeah, you know, I don't want to. Uh, what was your writing experience like? Um, tell us about should we, your. Should we tell people what makes it special? Oh, sorry. What makes it special? What makes it special is that it's a limited edition, right? Or, limited or production. Limited production. Sorry. Limited so production. It will only be available for a limited amount of time, and that's good because that means you can win one. Don't even have to buy it. But if you really can't wait, and you don't want to take the risk. You, you can buy one. You can anyway. buy one. Yeah. I mean, or you can buy one and bank. win one. One doesn't preclude the other. It's a free world. Oh my god, she's gonna fall off the table. Oh it's my the cat. god. Oh my god. No, she didn't fall. It's a cat. So the interesting thing here is that it's these these colors are unique and they they've not done it before mm -hmm. and they will not continue to do that very soon there'll be a cat I predict ah uh, yes hi um, now what was the writing experience like why don't you go on with the writing experience uh, okay this is a medium nib it is a gold plated steel uh, gold colored right so but you're basically looking at a steel nib here so uh, that's not a bad thing. Um, well, okay, so whoever wins this now has a, a pen that has been drooled on by the cat. We'll clean it, don't worry. Um, but she likes it. I mean, that's a good thing. Uh, it is inked currently with uh, Jeo Bank Café des Îles, because, I mean, that seems like a nice, appropriate mix, right? Um, I I was very pleased with this pen. It, it was... Wait, I'm having a brain shot down. Okay. Writing experience. Yeah, it was, um, it, it was a nice pen. It's not buttery smooth. And by buttery smooth, I mean very polished, glides across the paper. But it is a smooth writer, and um, I found the ink flow itself very good. And what I really, really love about it is that this nib is slightly springy, which you often find with their um, higher end, like the Zouverain models. Mm -hmm. Zouverain, did I say mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to bite my head off. Um, like the 14 and 18 karat nibs are springy, they're soft. You get it on this too, which is really great. So you can get some line uh, variation. That's cool. yeah. Well, it is really it cool. Is cool. I mean, this pen has a lot going for it. So, <coughs> sorry, my writing experience is very positive. I really like the size of this pen. It's. Can you hold it? Yeah, so for me. Have... Sorry, I just coughed into my hand. I'll clean this pen. I swear. Well, that's affected. I'm not sick. I have acid reflux. Just so you know. Um, You're not making your case any better. No, it is! It's just better. It's just that I'm not infecting my hand. Anyway, uh, a very comfortable pen, and what I uh, size and what I like about it is that it posts well. <laughs> I just coughed on your shoulder. It's a, a, a size that I could use posted as well. I, I really, really enjoyed the writing experience with this, and I was I was actually kind of surprised how much I liked it. How much? How much I liked it. So, that's pretty cool. I kind of... I kind of want to get one for myself now. Uh, my writing experience <coughs> was uh, was quite good too. <coughs> there, I'm just wiping Sorry. it down here. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No worry. Don't Sorry. Worry. Don't worry. It's just it's just a joke. Um, yeah, but it's not. It. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I coughed in my hand and then touched the pen. I feel so bad. Okay. Well, stop feeling bad. Having sex. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're just business partners. I, I cough a lot. Okay, everything. what is your writing experience? It was pretty good. So <laughs> I, I, it, 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 it reminded me a little bit of, of coughing. No, it's it's a very good, nice, smooth writing experience. Yeah. I was surprised that it was so well tuned because this is not the top of the range Pelican pen. Yeah. And yet it really worked. I I did not have it run dry. Yes. I did not have hard starts. Nice, I didn't have smooth. skips. Of course, it depends on what paper you use, what ink you yeah, use, but in this always. particular, with this particular ink, and I've, I've drained it and refilled it, with this ink and on the page papers I use, I, I didn't have any issues, which was awesome. I mean, of course, that's what you expect from a fountain pen, but when it actually happens, you're like, wow! I know. You know? <laughs> that's that's really sad, isn't it? What did you cough love about it? <laughs> Sorry. Should punch him, eh? Uh, what I love about it, first of all, I think it's an affordable pen. Uh, and I know, of course, that gets into would you buy it, but anyway. Um, 125 euros, you, you're gonna find, you you could find, give or take a little bit, you can find a little cheaper, I'm sure, with you because you can get discounts yeah, and such, right? But I think that's what you kind of like. uh, But you're looking at about 125 or so. Um, it's a piston filler, it has an ink window, which is really fun it looks really nice it's an elegant design the um, nib 
you can unscrew so you can maintain the pen yourself. You can clean it really well. You can also put vintage M400. Is yep. that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. cool. they the, the, the nib, nib size, size fits. Yep. So I, I mean, you could stock up on a bunch of awesome nibs and just have one body, which is really cool. Or you could just have you know bodies for all of them. But I, I think the pen has a lot going for it. Yeah. And as you said, some of the other models look a little plasticky. Uh, for example, the uh, the clear one that was made a few years ago, a few, maybe with, even last year. Um, the tradition. I, yeah, I, I mean, I really liked it, but um, the difference is, I, I guess, it, it looks more solid, more yes. polished, whereas the other ones looked a little more cloudy. Yeah. Um, so I, I think this particular finish, like the colors, and it has a lot going for it. What do you hate about it? Well, what do you love about it? Also, very comfortable for um, me. Yeah, for me, I'll start with what I hate about it. For me, it's small. It's it's definitely even posted. I I, I mean posted. I, I can use it, but it's the the diameter. I find that fairly small. But basically, just not your preferred size. Exactly. You but can that's, use it, but yeah, not. But, I, but your I mean, that's, that's But also, that's, you have a massive fingers, so yeah, you're. So great. that's that's my my personal uh, feeling about that. What I love about it okay. is the color scheme. I really do like the color scheme. The white and brown really, or, well, cream or brown really works together very well, and oh. that is something that I find. A really, really good choice they like made. You are brown like the pen. Um, okay. Matches. So that's what that's I love cool. and hate about it. Is there anything you hate? Honestly, no. With this pen, uh, at this price point, and with all that it has going for it, and with my writing experience with this one, I really like it. it works for my hands, so. What about you? She Is there anything you hate? Mortified. Um, now, would your you buy it? Your whiskers are very close to my mouth. Would you buy it? Um, would you buy it? You know, even at full price, if I didn't have like some kind of discount from a very awesome set of people who had discounts to Apple Bomb or something, or who were who weren't giving it away or something, I would still buy it. It's always, I think, for me, I think this is a nice pen size to have. Mm but also a nice model to have because of all that it has going for it. Piston filler, uh, ink window, interchangeable nibs, you can maintain it yourself. I mean, that's really awesome. That cool. And, uh, you know, it would be devastating to lose a pen like this, but if you lost, like, an M800, you're going to be, like, really upset, mm -hmm. which offers a, a higher-end version, but the same stuff, you know, piston, interchangeable nibs, all that stuff. So, um, what was the question? Would I buy it? Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I would buy it. I would not buy it, and the reason is that it's, for me, on the small size. That was grammatically slightly odd, but for me it's a little small, and that's why I would not buy it. Would you buy it? Well, she has no money, so she probably wouldn't, but in any case, it, it is. It's, that's not because the quality is poor or anything. It's just because I would prefer a bigger pen. Yeah, well, now, that, that's. Uh... The big question that remains is: Is it, or is it not? Seriously. Yes, no. yes. Okay. Well, we are going to use the meter. Why don't you? Why don't you? Um... For me, it ends up there. I like a lot about it, but for me, not the correct size. But judging the pen, irrespective of that. I would say it ends up about there. It's not the most serious of serious nibbage, but it is definitely, you could do a lot worse than get this pen. What about you? Yeah, I'm going to put it a little higher because of the comfort factor for me and, um, and the price. I mean, I think it's really, it, again, you get so much for it, the price. So I really like it and I think this is one of their better done finishes in terms of the, how it looks and the, the quality of how it looks. So. Uh, it's definitely serious nibbage. Where on our arbitrary scale is it? Uh, I would say on the higher end. Yeah, I agree. Now the final question is, what else could you buy if you are in the market for a pen? Maybe you hate Pelican, maybe you hate you the finish like this, or something. What else would you get? Well, of course there's a whole bunch of other M200s. If it's just the finish, yeah. there's so many out there. Tradition and there's the, 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 the yellow duo, and the, the yellow, green, the green one. Yeah. Uh, 
so that that's always an option. Yeah. Um, there is of course the M400, but that's more expensive. Then you get a solid gold nib and all that, but it's, it becomes a lot more expensive. So yeah. I don't really think that is something that is a great alternative here. You could price. also buy a lot of other pens that are, are roughly the same price, but don't offer the same thing. Like they're not pistons or whatever. Yes. So. Um, what we discussed and came up with was the Lamy 2000, but the Macrolon version. Yes. Piston filler. Uh, it is a 14 karat nib. Um, you can take it yeah, apart take to, it maintain, apart. <coughs> to maintain it yourself. Um, of course, it has a different look, but you know that's that's kind of the point of that, right? What else would you pick? So, I think I can't remember off the top of my head how much exactly it goes for, but it is roughly in the same price range. Yeah. The Macrolon, not the stainless steel version. So, um, that was what we picked. Yep. Um, yeah. But, what you can also buy is a ticket to France. From here? Yes. Yeah, you could do that. That's a good alternative. Yeah. Okay, well, having said that, this concludes Serious Nibbage. I absolutely love you. And, um... That's all there's to it. That's very awkward for a business partner to say to another business partner, isn't it? I'm not a business partner. <laughs> Maybe you are. Um, the cat says bye. No, she doesn't. She just looks. She just gave you the dirtiest look. Ever. She did just give me the dirtiest look ever. She's like, don't even sleep, talk yeah. to me. Um, anyway, we hope you enjoy this and keep an eye out. We will be giving this away soon. And uh, thank you again to Applebaum for donating yes, this you. pen for giveaway because that is super awesome. It is very nice. So we hope that you guys will be excited about that. And hopefully you were excited about this episode and we will see you later. Okay, bye. 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 <coughs> are you nesting? You've made a nest. Now you are very inconvenient because you're just really in the way. She's in the way. That's all. Bye. Can you turn off the camera? <coughs> Can you turn off the camera? Do this. Do that. Are you done yet? Is this video palpably awkward? Uh, I'd like to see you drink tea. Well, it is palpably awkward when I'm sitting next to this. I'm not cuckling. Are you ready? Oh, gross. There's more hair. You have a lot of hair. Oh, I hope you vacuum that up later. Hi! Are you ready? Hi. Yeah, I'm ready. Come! I wasn't ready. Okay, I'm ready now. Oh, we don't have a prop. Oh. <coughs> no, no, that one's too sensible. No. No, 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 why don't you grab the gross one? Which one? The cuck. The cuck hat? I don't know why I'm encouraging this behavior. English breakfast. Oh, so delicious. Just swallow. Thank you. Okay, so that will be where we start. <sighs> This was the random prop of the week. Now, we're going to go on with a very interesting pen. And the pen of the week is a Pelican. And I'll unbox it. First you have the cardboard sleeve. Um, I didn't want to throw it across the room like you do. Then you have the coffin. So these are first impressions going on right now. Then you have a fake leather. Pleather. Actually, yeah, go ahead. Did you sl hurt yourself? No. It's here. It is the M200 Café Crème. Now, I think that is pretty cool packaging for this uh, price pen. point of pen. Yes. Now, uh, first of all, thank you to Yoast from Applebaum for not only sending us this pen to review, but also graciously allowing us to give it away to you guys. So, so you benefit. Yeah, so if you're going to complain that we are unbiased, that's cool. But Wait a minute, they're going to complain that we are unbiased. I mean biased. 
Start over. You are so neutral. <laughs> I over. hate you. I hate you. You <laughs> are so neutral. Start over.